just getting some nature shots. Hi, Joe. Well, tell the, uh, what's going on? Well, we're gonna go do some fishing. Yep. Because that's what we came to do, is do some fishing. Camp out overnight? Camp out overnight. We got steaks, potatoes, lots of Joe. We've got quite a bit of fog going on here. Just trying to get some nice nature shots, but you you just, you just Ridiculous. We're gonna put in, this is a last night in Canoodala. Joe, are, are, is there gonna be epic fishing today? There, well, you're here, so there might, we might catch a couple. Just a couple? Yeah, Will catches them all the time here, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back on the water, Joe says lots of bass today. Joe's about ready to run into each other. Where are we going? Okay. Going that way? Okay. I'm running into trees already. Oh, another tree. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, this looks, uh, this looks bassy here. I'm feeling it. Oh, we made it past our portage. It's a pretty good one. It was kind of uphill to begin with, but Joe warned me. On to our main lake. We're gonna check out a campsite over this way, uh, or maybe paddle down the end, do another short portage, and then it is a different campsite. We promised this is me though that there are bass on this lake. So I'm gonna try my hand at some fishing. We're way over there. This is nice. It's real nice. When fishing for a bit, made it about halfway down the lake and uh, no go. Tried some wraps um, and spoon in kind of this brushy area where Joe said he's caught some bass before. Then I just trolled with kind of medium sized spoon up and down. No hits, nothing. So that's a little bit depressing. It's 11.40 and eat some food. So I am quite hungry. Um, maybe I'll just do crackers, cheese, and a meat stick. See Joe, he's over there kind of, he went further down than I did. I wish we could hit some bass, man. I was really hoping to get in here and get a couple of quick hits, but no go so far. Uh, it's pretty sunny, pretty warm, and it's the middle of the day, so I don't know. Sometimes this is good, sometimes this is bad. Cutting up a little bit of meat stick and some cheese for lunch. Knife of choice for canoe trips is Fall Neven F1. Had this knife for a really long time. Um, like it, this is what I mainly bring nowadays. It's relatively lightweight. I like the sheath because it's kind of small. Uh, I've got some other knives that are bigger and uh, use leather sheaths. This is lightweight, it's easy to put on. If you have a pack on, it dangles low enough that the pack strap doesn't annoy it. It's stainless so it never rusts. Um, retains an edge. 
The only thing I don't 100% love about this knife is the grip is just like a six out of 10. Everything else about the knife, I really like the sheath, the blade, the steel is like a nine out of 10, but the handle six out of 10. I, what I'd love to do is find someone that would rehandle this thing and like contour it a little bit and like do it in carbon or G10 or something like that and just give it a little bit more of a belly. It's a bit thin right through here. So other than that, it does great. Whipped up a whole bunch of curls the other night uh, for fire, worked awesome for that. And of course, works great for cutting my, my meat log and, and cheese that I need in order to make my little cracker sandwiches. Time to eat up, looks like Joe's on his way back. We can, uh, we can set up camp, relax for a bit, and then try our hand again at fishing. Hopefully, it, as it gets cooler and the day rolls on, maybe the fishing will pick up. Wrapped up lunch, gonna try my hand at some more fishing. Joe said he got a couple nibbles, uh, one landed one fish, and he said he got them deeper, which makes sense, because I was scouting and everything from like eight to 10 feet down, I didn't see any sign of life. So I'm just gonna troll here, 50, 60 feet off of uh, the shore with a kind of medium sized spoon, about that big. Let's see if I can't get anything. Drop it down a little bit lower. Try to stay out of the debris, but keep it close. Of course, this is all just a theory. A little after five o'clock, got all the uh, camp prepped out, wood good to go. We are gonna paddle down the end of this lake, do a little quick 200 meter portage into another lake and try it out, see if fishing's any better there. Then head back and we'll have everything prepped out, ready to go for our steak, potatoes, and beer dinner. I'm on the board. Joe ain't got nothing on me. Yo, you might have got a six pound bass. I got a six ounce, like six gram bass. Is it bigger? It's not even bigger than your lure. How, how do I even take this guy off? He's so. We're okay, we're having fun now. Oh, he's running. Yeah. 
It's it's a it's a decent sized fish. Nice, Here, I gotta try out my I gotta try out my 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 glove. Ump glove on. I gotta put my ump glove on. <laughs> this guy, he's gonna lose his fish. No, I'm not. What? Watch out! Don't worry, man. You're good. You can't worry about me. Whoa! Reel it in. I. Oh, yeah. Come here. Holy smokes! Nice fish, Kyle. You're gonna lose that. Grab him. You're gonna lose him. He's barely. I got. Him. I got him. God. Lip him. I'm trying. The glove actually. Be glove sucks, Kyle. What are you doing? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the glove is kind of stupid. <laughs> That's a nice size bass. Stupid glove. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the glove. I did like barely have him. I know you did. I wasn't lying. There we go, boys and girls. <laughs> Nice. Nice fish, man. It's looking good, right? Yeah, it's a very nice fish. Too bad. <laughs> but I can't get the glove. The glove sum is too big. I can see that. I'm going to try it again. Oh. That was about the biggest mouth you're going to get on a small mouth. I couldn't get my thumb in it. It's too fat. That like, was I was. About the biggest mouth it's a get. stupid product. Don't buy fish gloves, I guess. <laughs> I was. I, yeah, that was really. Yeah, I'll love some fish. Anyway, nice. Okay, got another one. Ah, it's pretty small. Nothing, nothing to write home about. But at least it's something I would have killed for this earlier today. Just a, just a little guy. I right, number three. I'm just trolling. I had 20, 30 feet off. That was a good size one. 20 or 30 feet off the, uh... oh, he's diving. Just a little bit more drag. 20 or 30 feet off the, oh, oh man. Um, off the shore. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, he's, he's going. I got to. This is a good battle, man. This is a, this is a big bass. Holy cow. Whew. He's fighting like a big pike. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is a good size one. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> he's following me along. Holy cow. Oh, man. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's still going. He's got to be wearing out by now. I'm wearing out. Oh, he's still wanting to put up a fight. Come here, bud. Come here. Right, we're gonna try this glove thing one more time. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is a nice looking bass. Oh man, that's cool. Good job, bud. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Got another one here. Man, they like to die. Oh, this, this is a big one. Let's, let's, let's wear him out a little bit here. He's gonna wear me out. Oh yeah. Oh man, this might be the biggest yet. Holy cow. Holy smokes, look at this guy. That is a beast. Look at that. Oh man. That that was an awesome fish. This is what I'm talking about. This is, where was this all day long? Oh, in the span of 
25 minutes. I've caught in three like football size bass, one small one, and then that puny, puny micro one. But oh, that was awesome. Well, this is strange. I got three within like 10 minutes of each other. Now I've been going for 25 and nothing but like one hit. So not sure what that's about. I switched from an orange and black uh, wrap to a silver on the bottom, black on top like wrap. We'll see if that it does anything. I just switched like two minutes ago. Unbelievably gorgeous night, super still, no wind amazing temperature i mean <laughs> you really can't ask for any better fishing conditions even if i don't catch any more fish tonight uh, i think this is by far the biggest bass the most bass oh, there we go there we go let's hope that's a fish and not a stuck no that's definitely a fish it doesn't feel as big I don't know, maybe <laughs> Just as I was saying I wasn't gonna catch anything else, I'd be happy. Oh, it's just like a small one. But a fish is a fish. Oh, oh, there's a bigger one right below it. No, I wanna catch the one below that. I don't wanna catch this one. <laughs> they stack it up here. Okay, chill out, bud. It's a little small guy, but not bad at all. Happy with that. Okay, gonna paddle back towards Joe. Got another really solid hit. I thought I had him and then got off. So, darn, it is, uh, the lake is turning into just pure glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. Go through, uh, meet up here and report see how uh how joe's done i heard him yelling down there a little bit hopefully he got a couple not more than me of course but you know he got a couple we'll see here in a second anyways how did you uh i did very well you did very well. I, I think maybe about six, uh, two of them were really big. Okay, I was at four, two were really big. Nice. I got like, you know, like, these are a small, and th uh, one was... I heard. It was like, the, I, w I almost put it down, it was like the size, almost as wide as the gunnels. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. It, it, you gotta see it on video, dude. It was yeah. like, well, next I, level. I lost a couple too. But yeah, you, me too. You know what, I put on this. And I was slaying them off the cast. Really? Not just uh, trolling. I was I was two for two after I put that on, and then he, the big one, he freaking swam by a branch, and he made the dat get stuck to the branch, and he lost it out of his lip. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was like, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going after this. I had like a, like a nice, like medium size. Wanted to be happy to get, and I, I'm looking down and I'm seeing and I'm fighting it, and there's one that's like twice yeah. as big. Blow it, and I'm like, no, no, get off! I want that one. <laughs> See, that's what I said, man. The, it the it fish, was huge. The, the one below him. The, the oh. fish chasing the other fish. Are you happy we came to this lake? Yes, uh, that that little 200 meter portage. At first, I was like, oh, I'm tired. I want to come here. And then, no, this is awesome bass fishing. Man, and normally it's the other way. I swear to God. It's really? Yeah, I spent five days on this. Didn't catch a fish on that island. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. But anyway, super happy we came over here. Yeah, I mean, we it was in an hour. I've got three footballs. So yeah, football dinner plates even. They were huge. I know. They're they all were like huge. So dude. either either that or what you said, like a normal, like, like a normal one, or the micro. Yeah. Oh no, I got a micro. You well. got a micro? It's like three oh, times. Yeah. Still three times the size of that one you had, but so, that was. <laughs> you took the cake on that personal best micro. That is. Uh, I, I've never had one that is actually smaller than the lure itself. That's. <laughs> 
All right, so what do you say we head back, cook, get the fire F going? Fish going, uh, on, fish on the way a little bit more. Fish on the way, for yeah, sure. Yeah, fish on the way. I thought you meant I, a trolling is actually what I've been hitting most of them on. Uh, I got this as soon as I switched on to that. I mm -hmm. was hammering them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, still have the orange thing, though? Uh, I switched to silver and black, but same wrap, same design, same, same size. Good, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's head back. We've got beer. Uh, Captain Morgan's back at, at camp, and we've got potatoes, onions, peppers, and steak. Mm, we should have put some garlic. Did we put? We didn't put garlic in it. We didn't buy garlic because I had it, and then we never put it in. You also had mushrooms that we bought, and we never put no, it in no. either. We're not really. I did not have mushrooms that we bought. You had mushrooms that we bought and did not put in. I don't know. I don't recollect that. Anyway, wait, wait. okay. Let's go. Here we go. Good times though. Yeah, great lake. Great yeah, lake. I want to see if I can catch one of this like shallow area here again. Yeah, That'd be cool. Yeah. camera all set up now for interview time here in this evening. Uh, we got the fire going. Joe's cutting up some firewood. Mr. Captain Morgan decided to come along on this particular trip. Got that and two IPAs Joe wants to try out. So that should be pretty good. We'll do that and some steak and uh, chill out. It's supposed to be a really nice night. There's no wind. Um, we got a rip roaring fire. We're gonna get a really nice bed of coals uh, and cook those steaks. And we have foil wrap packets with the potatoes and some vegetables. So we're looking forward to that quite a bit. Here's the camera set up for nighttime interview time. I've got the Peak Designs uh, tri travel tripod, A7S3 with a 24 to 70 F4 and the Rode Micro. And then over here, this is the Lube, Loom Cube Mini. Um, I've got that supplying uh, light. It's on low right now, but I can turn it up way brighter and then it illuminates us. And then this arm, this flexi arm thing is the same thing I use in the canoe um, when I'm filming um, during the day with the GoPro. So I put a mount on the loom cube and it works really good. You just clip it on there, bend the arm, clamp it on this tripod, and then you have a really cool, uh, you can turn this up way bright. And then you got a really bright uh, light to be able to do interviews around the campfire at night. So pretty simple setup. Um, I'm running only an F4 lens um, on the camera. I brought a uh, 20 millimeter 1.8 but I've really found you don't necessarily need to change it out to the wider aperture when you've got this light. Um, it seems to be working pretty good at night, but we shall see in the morning. We've got an epic fire going here. Epic, epic. We have quite the fire going here. Joe uh, went around, cut some nice dry wood. We threw it on there. Uh, we're having to sit back at least several feet here. Um, yeah. Joe, when are we going to be able to eat the steaks? I don't know, man. <laughs> Not for a while. What do you mean? There's lots of coals in there. Yeah, I think we need to wait until it kind of simmers. It settles down. Yeah, 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 I put a lot of wood on there. Yeah, and uh, the... I had like a, a, at least a foot and a half tall like Lincoln Log Cabin thing going. We got two of these bad boys. Titus. So maybe we'll just kind of plopping by that right now. There's a lot of butter in there. There's almost the, the butter to potato ratio is almost 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Will's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Wakes up in the morning. Where's, oh, is this soap too? No, I thought we're good, we're good. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll just stop. Well, what? Okay, I gotta back up, it's too hot. Fire's going. Um, we've noticed that red pine, not great for base of coals. Um, who would have thought, right? Red pine, I thought that was like, Second to oak. Um, I searched for like a dead maple or something. There's there is none. So a bunch of red pine makes no coals and um, and, and Joe has no leather gloves. Yeah, that's right. 
We'll make it work though. You have that up glove for fish. We're not burning my <laughs> fancy fishing glove that pseudo worked. I think it would work great with walleye and pike. Remember how I just remember how cut up my hand no, got. It's cut from walleye. Yeah, it's, it's 100 percent from walleye. Yeah. They, they they have those barbs in the back on the on yeah. Their sides. They... Well, I remember I got one of the, you know the gill barb. Yeah. It got me in my like hand right here and it Always. swelled up all red. It's like a bee sting. 100 percent. Yeah, Very infected. Yeah. I remember. Yep. I don't like that. That's why I got that glove. Even though you told me you were doing a complete trout trip. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Well, there you have it. And there you have it. Those potatoes have been on for about 15 minutes, just FYI. I think another 510. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I, we can probably throw the steaks on once just once this starts to burn down. Yep. Agree. All right. It's time for the steaks. Those potatoes are done. They've been on there for half an hour. Oh, oh man. yeah. Look at that. Boom. Lovely. Dude, that's going to be good. Yeah. I'm, you get, I'm getting hungry just hearing it. I'm been. <laughs> been a light right there. Right there. We've got the uh, steaks cooking up. Doing some curl practice here. A little bit of. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than some air curls right there. Bam. You know what? If, if Kelsey was watching this right now, the wife, she would go, why are you doing that? What is that for? I had to explain it to her the first time I did this. There you go. Will calls them rufflies. He used to call rufflies. them rufflies. Rufflies. That would be a new one. Wood chipper in that sucker there. That looks good. Yeah. Well, as thin as yours. Yeah, I've got the angle of that like convexy edge down just perfect. Oh, oh that, that looks good. Some of those are good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A little... nice. The ray mirrors. The ray mirrors, yeah. Does everyone, does everyone know that? So, if, uh, what what episode is that from? It's like, was it the one where he like trades a coin for it as well? Maybe in like um, Maybe. Sammy country, like, or uh, uh, the hap, Taiga, happy people. I like, uh, oh, that's a great, that's a, that's one of my favorite like YouTube shows. Anyways, if you have a knife like this and you want to hand it to someone, you place your finger under it and you go like this. And then that way, you're... nobody's getting, no one's getting stabbed, right? No one's getting From stabbed. Here, no one's getting poked. No one's getting poked. You go from here to here. Let's here. demonstrate. Let's demonstrate. Yeah, let's see. Oh, may so I borrow? I, oh, go ahead. May I borrow your phone of an F-150, please? Right here. Oh, thank there you. There you go, sir. Is that what it's called? Uh, oh, VG-10 is the steel. Phone of an... I don't think it's the 150. F-150 is a truck. That's your Ford. F-1. F-1. Phone of an yes. F-1? Oh. Oh, would you like your phone of an F-1 back? I like that, sir. Thank oh. you. Oh. Okay, perfect. The other thing to note is, too, is when you put the knife into the sheath, don't be wearing a really expensive Gore-Tex jacket and accidentally shove it through the jacket and then into the sheath. Who would have done that? Pro tip. Pro tip. I should put it at the bottom of the video. Pro tip. Stick with us. Yeah, you should. Bing. Pro tip. Pro tip. Don't, Kyle. Don't, don't be a dum dum. Yeah, don't be a dum dum. Stab your jacket while putting your knife away. No, I did it to a pair of pants. I don't think I did it to a jacket. Maybe I did do. I probably have done both, honestly. I know I did it to a pair of pants somehow. Dude, this is gonna be good. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. I think it's gonna be great. I don't know what I do with my spoon now. I seem so, to constantly be losing. Oh, oh, it's, it's so my, hot. Oh, it's in my pocket. Oh, those are done. Look, and I've got like a side plate for the steak. This is awesome. Oh man, that's greasy. Oh, that pepper is awesome. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm, mmm. Here's what we're working with. We've got steak, a bunch of potatoes, peppers, onions. Time to chow down. Well, we've eaten our steaks. Steaks are done, and now it's time for some gummy bears. Joe actually likes the green ones. You've probably watched any of my videos this year. You'll hear me complain about the green gummy bear video, gummy bears. But you like green? They're my favorite, man. That's weird. You complete me. We make a good team. You complete me. Okay. You know? That's a I'll eat all your green gummy bears, Kyle. 
I'll eat them all. You know what I noticed? I played some video back. I have a little bit of sunscreen right here. Just a touch. It's like... Who, who's that? Those wood ducks. The wood ducks. I was going to say barking spiders. <laughs> yeah, that works too. Barking spiders. Creaky chairs. Yeah, you got um, you got a little bit of white on the face. I don't know why. Why does the sunscreen stick so badly to this area? You put an excessive amount for a little tiny bit of sun, and you have a very uh, thick stubble that I'm actually quite jealous of. And a 5 o'clock shadow that I cannot get by yeah, what, 10 o'clock. Do you have any? Right. There's three. You There's see those? Three. You see... I think, oh, they're actually a little closer. Uh, a little bit closer. My, I don't have a macro no, lens. No, no, no. No. What are you gonna do? Mm. I like clear gummy bears the best. I'm 45. You're 45 years old. We, you look like you're like four or five years old. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny guy. I am pretty funny. Not bad for an American. Do these gummy bears have THC in them? <laughs> <laughs> no. It would be a lot cooler if they did. <laughs> I would be on the floor with a handful I just ate. Watch this, watch. Right, he's gonna That's Zan? Eat him. In all the years I've eaten gummy bears, I would have never thought to do that. Stick with me, kid. I always learn something new. Mm -hmm. Bam! Birch bark, three feet away. <laughs> I want to see if you can do this. Spent you know five uh, days that we become hard hardened woodsmen. Bam, birch bark. <sighs> so what we're rambling about nonsensically is <laughs> Joe and I. And how many times do we say Joe and I? Anyways, um, Kyle and I. What was that twenty like fourteen? 15, it was at least five or six years ago. We did the Western Uplands Trail. The in Western. Western Uplands, right? Yep. Uh, in Algonquin Park. We backpacked over like five days. Our first like real backpacking trip together. Really wet the first two or three days. Really wet. Very wet. Very uh, very fall like. Some of the best colors I've ever seen. Yeah, the red the maples colors, on the, the ground. Oh my god, they were so good. Some of those colors. You should go back and watch that video. But there's at the end we did this like bloopers reel and we had extra like. No, I know what we found. We found a bottle of. of That's lead. right. So we didn't left bring it. it right? No, why would we? Yeah, and they had like a full size bottle of like I'd use it with my charcoal grill or Lighter something. Lighter fluid, right? like yeah. naphtha. So, Joe put like a little fire, sprayed it all over, and then he starts off and he's like, "If you were a real woodsman, you know, no, you hey, what do you, you say? Like, you know, we've been out here for five days. We've become real woodsmen." And then he takes this like you know st flint and steel and goes like this and, and like sparks it from like at least three or four feet away, <laughs> and it goes like a little like bonfire, and it was, bam, birch bark three feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Let's well, uh, see if you can do this. Yeah. And so the, the point was we didn't tell anybody that there was lighter fluid on it. We I think it was that. relatively obvious when, like, the little, like, <laughs> mushroom cloud yeah, went off, Yeah, of course, right? the napalm. Yeah, straight <laughs> napalm, <laughs> like that. Uh, Good times. That was actually a crazy trip for me, man. Like, uh, probably one of my first longer trips and definitely my first backpacking trip. And it rained, like, cats and dogs the first two days. Yeah. And that's when you had your like thirty liter backpack yep. and your sleeping bag strapped to the, strapped bungee the outside. No, you used uh, Canadian jam knots. Canadian jam knots with paracord yeah. on the to keep it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that. And then that was the when we got super wet, like unbelievably wet that first day. Yeah, and we shared the Shangri La. We shared that tent, and remember there was no bottom on it, and yep. the, the river was running through the, the thing. Joe River. Yeah, that's yeah, what we named Kyle it. Kyle Lake and Joe River. Power, yeah, oh, yeah, river runs through it. That was a. Uh, that was rough. Anyways. What was cool on that trip was that Loft Lake. Remember back in there, Loft Lake, where we saw the moose prints? There's that big, yeah, long there's like a, beach. Yeah, there was like a beach. And that nice-ass campsite. Yep. And you tried to fish. Yeah. And nothing happened. Nothing happened, nothing happened ever. Yeah. It was pretty standard for a lot of our, our trips. We're starting to get better, though. The past two we've gone on, we've actually caught a decent amount of fish. I've caught a lot of fish this year. Yeah. Seven species. Walleye, bass, pike, laker, speck, brookie. Blake. That's pretty good, man. Yep. No perch. Excuse me. Oh, and fall fish. Eight. Eight species. And blue walleye. Oh, yes, it's blue walleye. Yes. Very good, very good. Good times. All right. Well, we're sitting next to the fire. Why is there so much 
Why does the sunscreen get trapped here so bad? Uh, it's really bad, right? It's Don't scrape it off with your th fingernails, whatever you do. Yeah, I know. That grosses you out. Oh, buddy. Oh, Ralph. Remember that one time mm -hmm. uh, when we got out of of out of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the one time we got out of Algonquin. The lip my, skin. My lips really <laughs> chapped. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I can't put any of this in the video. You wiped it on the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, it, it was like it's on video and you, you're like you're gagging. It was like a it was like a frog shedding its skin. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's very gross. Disgusting. Well, Joe and I are just going through all of our old memories here, the many, many years together on these uh, these camping trips. Rain, snow, fires, good times. Frog shedding lip skin. Oh, God. Don't even start with me. No, this is fun. I'm glad. I'm super glad we, uh, we had some good fishing. We had the... Got the, the biggest rainbow I've ever gotten, the biggest bass I've ever gotten today. Um, that was cool. It was yeah, definitely, it's definitely been a, a cool trip. Different than normal. It's not the, you know, like seven days of slogging and all day. And we've kind of had some breaks here and there, but like it's been, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. We and we had our fair share of portaging too. Yes, the portages were not easy. Um, we had quite a bit of rain. We had really annoying rain. Instead of just like raining the whole time, it was like giving you, it kept giving me a glimmer of hope every 20 minutes that it was going to stop and then it never actually stopped. Annoying rocks for you too. So many slippy rocks. <laughs> like why are all of the rocks in Canada slippy? <laughs> they all have that brown like pond scum slime to them and it causes me to fall into the water all the time. It's funny. I just skirt on. on you know, the one thing. It must I'd, be something you're born with if you're in Canada, I think. <sighs> Rock you know, skipping abilities. Uh, you're very good at it. You're like a little nimble person. You know what's it's funny is, uh, I can't remember who we ran into once, but they're like, uh, they're talking about the you getting in and out of the pack boat, and you're like, everyone's like, oh, Joe makes it look really easy, and then I, I have a hard time getting in and out of it. Who was that? Oh, it was the Avid Outdoors guy. Oh, guy. maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, I have a hard time getting out of that thing because it's so low to the ground. But, um, yeah, the rocks are slippy. Tell you, what. you know, one thing we missed this trip is we didn't do a single portage where it was just through like a river creek system and it was nothing but like waist deep mud the whole time. We missed doing that. Well, next time. Next time. We got to make, make sure next time we include a waist deep mud portage. I mean, like, all right. <laughs> you, you like it. Don't lie to me. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're memorable. They're memorable. This, this, those are the portages you remember, for sure. <laughs> I, there was one at our last trip which didn't go far enough. Oh, yeah, that, that muddy one? It was into Mexican Hat Lake. That was, oh, that was crazy. I mean, like, literally the other day. There oh, was the one. trip, yeah. like, three days ago. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, there was a little marsh in the middle. It was pretty good. It was a good, it was a good marsh. And then we got turned around with all the lily pads. That was fun. Mm -hmm, we did that. One's kicking up. Lyle. Lyle. Lyle Furley. That's my nickname, Lyle Furley. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Really appreciate that. <laughs> I hate you. All right. Well, making up breakfast. We've got breakfast skillet from Mountain House. It's an adventure meal. We've got shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs with mixed pork sausage, peppers, onions. What are you working with, Joe? <laughs> A singular oatmeal packet. I've had two. Oh, you've had two? I and mean, I also put in some chocolate au chaud or hot chocolate powder and a little bit of marshmallows got mixed in there, but that's all right. Oh yeah, that sounds great, Joe. That was that sweet taste I just had. Mmm, this smells really good. It's like an adult version of Lucky Charms, you know? There we go. Well, you're powered up, man. Two packets of oatmeal. Ready to go all day. Was that Woodland Caribou where you would eat like one packet of oatmeal and like four raisins and then like you'd go paddle and that was your No, stuff. that was you saying that's what I did. That is what you did, though. All right, we're trying this out now. 
It's good. I think I like the one I had earlier better. It's a bit more spicy. But this has a real like savory flavor to it. It's good. I would do this again. All right, Joe's got a fish on through the lure out right next fighting, to this log. Way it's fighting, man. Yeah, it's a it's. It's a big bass. Nice. Good guess with that log there. He's fighting like a son of a guy. The problem is he keeps running under logs. He's gotta get tired at some point. Oh, there he is. He's big. He's got parasites too. Yeah? Yep. He's got that black spot. See nice. Him? Yep. Is this one? It's not bigger than the other ones, eh? No, but it's a nice fish. Good job, Joe. We have completed our last portage of the trip, a nice little 500 or so. Really, really nice out today. Joe and I were just remarking that it's starting to finally smell like fall, like the fall feeling is on its way, so it's good. It's supposed to rain this morning and it's clearly not, so that's nice. It's been an awesome trip. I uh, really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun with Joe. Caught some awesome fish, biggest uh, rainbow I've ever caught by far, and probably, yeah, definitely the biggest bass, fattest and longest I've ever caught too. So pretty, pretty cool, not bad. I'm calling this trip the Joe tour of his backyard since we weren't terribly far away from where he lives. Um, yeah, awesome trip. We're just, we're, we'll figure out on the way home. You're stuck. Another portage, another stuck rod. Um, we're gonna figure out, oh, super badly backlit, and look at that. She got her. So on the way home last night, the topic of conversation was, what's our next big trip? And we think we're gonna do some type of wilderness, big, uh, long thing like we did with um, Woodland Caribou. Mm -hmm. We probably would have done something like that this year, but you know, COVID and border closings and all of that makes it much more complicated. So thanks for watching. Until next time.